Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! We are back with Knack 2, very hard mode on the PlayStation 4. And right now, we are in the city of Athenium. Now, the reason we are in the city of Athenium is we went to Yurik's laboratory and we found out some more history about the High Goblins. And what happened was, after Yurik was defeated by Morius, he uh, invented a control center as well as some massive robots called Titans and he used them to fight against Marius and all of the other humans. Marius and the other humans managed to defeat the Titans and Yurik by sending a secret squad of troops to the, <laughs> to the control center and uh, defeated uh, Yurik and all the people that were there. And that made the Titans deactivate and then the humans defeated the goblins and casted them into the wilderness. And that was the future. That's why the goblins are now in the wilderness. Now what we're thinking is, we're thinking that somebody has found the location of this control center and they are now reactivating all of the robots. Now we don't know where the control center is, so we've come to this city that is currently under attack by goblins, and we're gonna defeat the goblins, and we're gonna find a mu museum, and hopefully there's a, cue, a clue, I'm talking really bad today, hopefully there's a clue in the museum that will lead us to the control center. So that's what we're doing at the moment. Now, um, the goblins in this area are a lot more advanced. They're not like your usual snarly, dribbly, um, Goblins, these ones are a lot more badass and they've got some advanced weapons. So uh, prepare for some uh, pain. <laughs> I'm probably going to die a few times, especially at the moment. Once I start getting a lot bigger, it becomes very easy. I also think I found both of the hidden treasure chests in my own playthrough. So we should be alright. We should be alright. But yeah, whilst I'm a little knack, I'm probably going to die a few times. Right, you've got certain ones that like to shoot at you with guns. You've got another little goblin that likes to leave mines on the floor. And that dude straight in front of me, he has a, uh, a powerful weapon that he charges up and hits the floor. And it creates like a massive, the usual massive sonic bangs that they do. So, we've got to be careful. We want to take him down as quick as possible. When he does that, see, that's what he does. When he does that, that's probably the main thing that will kill you. Anything else, you're probably going to be alright. Here we go again. Oh, shit. I'm so sick of them dodging. Why are they so good at dodging? They're, they're goblins, for God's sake. <laughs> Ow. Oh, do, do you see what I mean? It's... Re oh. <laughs> I hate it so much. I hate them. Once I start getting bigger, though, it just becomes so much easier, you know? Oh, get off. Whatever. Like, when am I supposed to attack? Like, when do you want me to attack? I can't block, because if I block and he does that, it just breaks your block and you get hurt anyway. I, I can't charge him, because there's no charge attack, really, at the moment. So, I don't know. I just, I just have to, eventually I'll get him. I suppose when he does that. There we go. Oh, no, another one. The problem is, you can't die in any of this next bit. Because if you die in it, you have to do all of it again. It's not very friendly with the checkpoints. Oh no. <laughs> I love it how they won't go past this like one sandbag. Okay, right. We got rid of the annoying one. Now we need to get rid of the gun guy and the little goblin. He isn't really much of a problem. He's more like an annoyance, really. Oh! I didn't know they homed in on you. I had no idea it did that. Okay. Now, uh, we can't die in the next bit either, because if you die around this corner, then you have to do this bit here again. So, we want to try and be careful. Obviously, it's going to be extra hard, because Mr. Ryder and Lucas don't want to help. And even Ava, who is trained by the monks, doesn't want to help. So, you know. Oh, 
I think these little goblins, these little goblins on the floor are just so hilarious, you know. They're adorable. It's like they think they're going to defeat me or something. It's, it's, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it, it just it sort of shows you the difference in Knack's size, you know. Actually, uh, there is a one of the piles of boxes actually hides a hidden chest. I swear there was a hidden chest that was near some cars. Maybe it's a bit further ahead. I don't know if we've got a checkpoint yet, so hopefully I can hopefully I can defeat these guys without dying. Like I said, they're not very friendly with their checkpoints. And obviously these um these goblins were trained by Bruce Lee, so they're very, very good at dodging, you know. Oh, I hope there was a checkpoint. Okay, there was a checkpoint. That's not too bad then. Because I think there's a few enemies here. Oh no, the kids are out in the playground. The kids are in the playground. They're going to start screaming. It's going to put me off. I'm going to die several times. I really need to move. I need to move so badly. It drives me insane. Shit, is this... Oh, it's this stuff everywhere. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have five seconds to do anything. Ouch. 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 They're so violent, aren't they? They're absolutely violent little devils. Chill out, for God's sake. <laughs> oh. It's infuriating. Give it a rest! Oh, we killed the little goblin. I suppose I'm supposed to celebrate or something. How the hell did you miss then, Knack? What are you playing at? I mean, how many drop kicks have I done since we started this playthrough? I've done several. You should be very good at the old drop kicks. But as always, Wolf Morphess, if you can hear those kids outside my house and uh, in the playground, I'm sorry. I used to edit it out, but I can't edit it out no more. I, because I've changed my room around since I've started recording, you know. I, I used to be able to edit it out because it was very quiet, but I don't know. For some reason, this microphone seems to pick it up really badly now. I mean, you can't see the microphone because I edit it out of the video, but it's designed to only hear from the front. You know, and the noise is coming from behind the mic. So somehow it's still picking up the noise. I don't know why. I guess it's because the kids are just so disgustingly loud, you know. I do like kids. You know, I can't wait to have my own kids one day. You know, my little wolf pups. But Whoa. if they end up being like that, I don't want them. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> He's packing a tank. I mean, a cannon. Hello, citizens. Cowering as always, you know? I mean, that is like the smallest little goblin in the world over there, and you couldn't beat it up before it set up a cannon. I've most likely already missed the treasure chest. I already get the feeling that I've missed one. Actually, I think... Oh, no. Actually, I think there might be one over here. I think the first one might be here. Yeah, because we, we need to... Oh, look. Oh, damn. I think I missed it. Nope, I got it. If you smack those golden ladybirds, they give you extra golden... Uh, they give you extra relic energy. Now, we need to jump down there and beat up the goblin, and then we can actually steal his cannon. But before you do that, let's come over here, because I think there might be a chest. Yeah. Yeah, I think these ones were very easy. Also, once we get to the next chapter, there's one that is very easy to find. It's right at the beginning of the uh, chapter. Is that the last piece? Yes, it is. Ah. So we should be able to see all of the goblins' health bars now. So this is going to be very useful. Because sometimes I might feel like I shouldn't hit an enemy because he's still got a lot of health. And I spend too long thinking, oh, I need to smack him, then dodge, then smack him. But sometimes they're just so low on health that you can just run in there, hit them once, and not have to worry about dodging or anything because they're going to die, you know. It saves you the, uh, it saves you the, the, the worry. 
It's like when I was getting killed about two videos back by those uh, big fat goblins when we had to use our crystal swords, you know, and I used to hit them loads, but they'd be alive, and I didn't know how much health they had left. So I could have just run in there and slammed them once and they'd be dead, but because I feel like I'm going to have to run in there and start dodging and stuff, I, uh, I get a bit hesitant, and then I end up dead. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm talking about the same thing for too long. Oh, lovely. You've got to love a good cannon. That's probably the greatest thing when you're playing on, like, very hard difficulty, you know? Because you spend so much time dodging and being scared of dying, you know, and having to play carefully. When you finally get to unload on everybody, giggity giggity, then uh, it makes it so much more fun. If you're playing on easy, you can just smack everyone with one hit and they die. So it's not really, it's not really as fun getting on the cannons. Um, I think... I think we need to go this way. So I think if we come up here, if I remember correctly, there is a relic chest. Yeah, there is. A nice big relic chest. This relic energy is delicious. I do love the new stuff they've added though, with like the talents and that. I think, I think Mark Cerny and Sony Japan Studio deserve more credit, you know? I mean, this game, I thought number one was great, you know, but there was there was things you could improve in number one. And I feel like they've improved in many things, you know. Literally, the main complaints were platforming and it just being simply punching enemies, you know. nax has got loads of different attacks in this game, you know. He's got different super attacks. He's got, um, what's it called? He's got um, lots of different uh, skill points and stuff now. There's loads of platforming added to the game. So I think they've done pretty well, considering lots of people complained, and yet they still didn't really get, like, brilliant scores. I don't understand it, you know. I know everybody has their own opinions, but I don't understand it. I feel like people just sort of, like, moan about Knack now because it's just the cool thing to do. Oh, there's more. I was about to scratch my neck. I'm slowly getting taller, so things are getting a bit easier now. This is the point where things get easier. As you can see, they've got health bars, you see them? Oh, what's that? It's actually good seeing the health bars when you've got this, because then you know how long until they're dead. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. I'm so glad you all joined me after I did all of the work. I'm so glad. Cough, thank you. Thank you. I really don't like them. <laughs> right, what should we power up? I think there's only one more thing we can buy. I'm not really going to worry about these just yet because there, there's not really been like a special move that I've really wanted to get and they, we have to use four power-up points. So I don't really want to do it. But we're going to buy this and this should unlock the next set of talents. So we can start speeding up Knack a little bit, which is very handy when you're playing on very hard. I mean, look at the amount of like skills over there. Like fancy skills. The way of skill has been opened. Yeah, because look, right, you got heavy punch speed will increase. And this is very good because Nat could just be like boof, 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 constantly, you know, it's brilliant. And then you've got this, where's the one? I think the one I got was, yeah, this is the one I got first because I seem to do a lot of jump kicks. And then I also, uh, I got this one as well. Every time you dodge and you bump into someone, you do damage to them. And as I spend all my time dodging and I don't really block very much, yeah, that's the one. That's the one for me. <laughs> so those are the ones we're going to focus on getting first. Oh, you're welcome. You are welcome. I'm so glad to get some appreciation for once. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. All of you are great. All of you are wonderful. I wish Lucas and Ryder were like you lot. Maybe we should bring you lot on the adventure. At least I'll get some appreciation. You don't have to worry about fighting or anything because they don't fight either. Oops. I accidentally burnt myself on the car. I'm trying not to take any damage because there is a ton of um, sunstone crystals in this area. And I can convert it all to relic energy. I wonder why you lot are all hiding over here. Oh, what's the... Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a chunky lappy goblin. It's like that dude we was fighting a minute ago, but he's gone chunky lappy mode. Damn. Hold circle. Well, you want me to do this? What are you telling me that for? I don't want to hold circle. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll play my own way. Leave me alone. I'll do it my way. I'm stuck. I'm stuck! Ah! Run away! <laughs> Whew, Chunky Lappy is not happy with me. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Now I have to pick up all my sunstones again. Actually, this might be a good place to farm. Nah, I was going to say, maybe I could just keep on killing myself and gather up relic energy, but there isn't enough sunstones here. Would have been good, though. Right, let's do a couple of heavy punches then, because apparently the game wants me to do it. I mean, somehow I got hit then. I'm not quite sure how when I clearly dodged, but you know. Whatever, whatever. No, no. No, no. Ah, no. No. That, that that sword is reminding me of a weapon. I'm not sure what game it is. I don't know if it was like a Final Fantasy game, but I don't think it is because I've never actually played a Final Fantasy game. Actually, I tell a lie. I played Final Fantasy VII many years ago on PS1, and I'm going to annoy lots of people right now, but I didn't like it. But the reason I didn't like it was I just I wasn't a fan of those Japanese-style games, you know. I always liked playing as English characters because I like to pretend the characters are me, you know. Back when I was a kid, I don't really care now. I'll play anything, you know. Like, I was really excited to play uh, Final Fantasy XV. I don't know why I didn't end up playing it. I think it was because I didn't like the characters. They looked a bit... They looked like Backstreet Boys. <laughs> they looked like, like Japanese Backstreet Boys, you know? It was a bit feminine for me, and I didn't like it. What's that angry little goblin doing? Look at that little turd. Stop shooting people. Actually, we better get on this quickly. I think a lot of enemies come. If you use L1, you can build a little shield around yourself if they manage to get close to you. Which they probably will. Get off me! So are they able to... Oh no. I don't know if they're able to like break the cannon or something. I guess they might be able to break the cannon or something. I'm not sure though. I really like these cannons. You see, this is why it would be pretty damn good playing this in. Thank you. Thank you, citizens on the boat. I mean, one of you could have climbed, jumped in the water, climbed up here, beat up the little goblin and took over the cannon, you know. But no, just sit in the boat and let me do all the work. You're just as bad as Lucas. But yeah, this would be pretty good in co-op, you know, because you could get, like, your friend or whoever plays with you could get onto the uh, cannon, and then uh, the other person could run around just, like, drop-kicking everybody. I know this isn't a drop-kick. I just call it a drop-kick because I think it's it's a good it's name for it. Tower. I believe the museum is a little bit further on. That's how I remember it. Here's hoping we find a clue of some sort there. Yeah, so we're heading over to that clock at the moment, I think, because I think we're sort of getting a bit lost because this uh, this city is a bit of a maze. But all we know is we need to head north. And I think he said past the clock tower, I think he said, in the uh, last video, I can't remember. But we need to head north. And that's where the museum is. And then once we get to the museum, we're hoping that there'll be some sort of clue in there that will lead us to that control center. I can't remember where the other treasure chest was. I know I did find both of them, so... Fingers crossed, I, uh, I haven't forgotten. Love these sunstones. I, I feel like I have to keep talking at the moment because it's so noisy out there. If I talk, you can't really hear the noise they make. But the second I don't say anything, you can hear it, you know? Just pay attention, right? When I'm not talking, just listen carefully. You'll probably hear the stupid kids. You shouldn't do it, really, because it's annoying as hell. But, you know, just trying to prove to you how noisy they are. Nice move. Think you could teach me that one? Of course.
back. Your new move extends your reach. Use it to open that gate. Hook shot. Now this is probably my favorite move in the entire game. Because as you've probably seen just throughout this video, you know, when the goblins are running away from you and being very annoying, it's just being able to grab them and pull them over to you is brilliant. But I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf and Wolfette. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfette. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Next time, we're going to head over to that clock tower and we're going to try and find the museum. Then we're going to head off to the museum and I think if we're fast enough, we should be able to get to the museum in the next video. It will depend on how much I die on these stupid enemies. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share and join a pack today. Oh!